I'm Armored Chocobo, and I play video games. But up to this point, it was mostly Zelda-likes and Metroidvania games, so it's time for something a little different. I wonder if you could guess what game it is. Eh, I'm not giving it away. Just watch. Did you figure out what it is yet? Seriously, you haven't figured it out yet? No, it's not that 1950s movie remastered in color. That's ridiculous. That's silly. Why did you say that? No, it could only be one thing. Armored Chocobo is doing Earthbound. From Ape and Hell Laboratories. And by that crazy, crazy guy, Shinga Sato Itoi. Let's see the intro. Now, there's a lot of reasons why I'm doing this. First of all, it's one of my favorite RPGs, and you hear that from pretty much everybody who's ever Let's Played, or just did anything Earthbound related. But, um, a lot of people haven't played this game, and I would like to share the experience, because it's one for the record books. This game is full of charm and whimsy, and it, it breaks a lot of rules that used to be in RPG games up to this point. Like in Final Fantasy V and VI, so pretty much anything Final Fantasy. And there's, uh, there's happy moments, sad moments, moments I'd like to share with you. Like the moment in this park. If you don't know much about Earthbound, you will now. Check that out. Are we gonna go to Saudi Arabia or is the game punking us? I think it's punking us. I don't believe it. Don't believe it's lies. There's city adventures and hobos dying in alleys. Because that's how it happens. It's actually, if you look at it a certain way, it's actually a, a pretty beautiful story about the triumph of the human spirit. Like La Milana was the triumph of the, the archaeological spirit. And there's the intro once again. Let's just get this started, why don't we? Yes, I have lots of save files. I've I've been test I've been testing this out to make sure it runs properly and all that. So I'll just delete one of these. You don't need to see me messing around with the options menu, but there's the window colors. A lot of these are grading on the eyes, especially that one. You know what? Um, no no color, no color at all. A lot of people pick that. I wonder why. And we could name all of our guys. Um, if you hit don't care, it gives you a name. First name is the official name, the canon name, I guess you would call it. And then there's a lot of other ones. Some of these might be references. I know in uh, the Japanese version, a few of these options have to do with Japanese boy bands, and the Beatles, and Super Nintendo, our Super Mario characters, stuff like that. Here's Paula. Yeah, she likes music. I don't know why. We don't understand a lot of these people yet, and we'll find out as we go. We're certainly going to meet them. They're called our friend for a reason. That, um, that sound you just heard right there? That's actually Etoy's own voice. They digitized it. It was some kind of prank the sound master did, and he just had the microphone on, and Etoy said in Japanese, is it okay, and he put it into the game. They bring it back in the sequel, too. It's just an in-joke that you should get. Oh, well this guy's name isn't that good. Well that one's a little bit better. That's actually the sidekick of the Green Hornet. I don't know who the rest of these guys are. I don't see the Beatles in here anywhere. But since it's this cannon name and everybody else is cannon named, uh, yeah, sure, why not. We get to name our pet as well. His name is King. We could also pick the princess from Super Mario. Or maybe a Pikachu name? And generic dog names. But, uh, I like King. King sounds bad. I can't say the other word. It's PG. What's Ness's favorite homemade food? Steak! I can't chew steak. Yeah, I require teeth. Well, this nice, good human food. Well, uh, I don't, I don't agree with this. I don't agree with this one bit. I'm gonna pick something that's a little bit more personalized. Armored Chocobo enjoys greens. Why not? Have you had your greens today? 
Why didn't you? You'll have scurvy. You'll suffer from the bends on land. And then who's gonna feel stupid? Alright, uh, if we don't care? Ness's favorite thing? He likes to rock out. I don't know who likes Hammer, but I'm concerned about him. Those are nice things to like. Not so much. Someone's disturbed. You know what, I'm gonna go with this, because Let's Play will not fit in that slot, so we're gonna go with... Our favorite thing is gaming! Sure. Let's start Earthbound! As Earthbound always starts out, in a podunk town in the middle of the woods. Kinda like every RPG, it's always some kind of backwater place. The year is 1990X, because, um... They can't decide what year it is. Every day is a new year. Welcome to the eve of 1995. Earthbound just released in America. I mean, Eagle Land. Welcome to Onet, or Onet. Whichever way you want to pronounce it, I prefer Onet. Because the other one just gives away something in the game. I wonder whose house that is. It's a nice idyllic house in the middle of nowhere. Of course it belongs to our protagonist. I knew that all along. What do you think I am? Dumb? And there he is! He's tired from a long day at school. It's almost a weekend. He gets to party. Looks like the party started early for Ness. What was that? Well, we get to control him now. That's how we interact with our environment right there. Let's check our books out. Uh-oh. I think there is a problem. This can't read. How old is he? He's about 13. He should know how to read by now. Let's check in with our sister, Tracy. With the gingerbread man smile on her face. Did the sound wake you up? It looks like you were sleeping in your clothing. That's a little disturbing. Well, there's a present here that I want. So I'm going to take that. Hey, uh, Paula, I'm just going to take this cracked bat with me. Yeah. I feel a lot safer with this cracked bat after it was a loud noise. It could be a bear. Or bees. Or maybe sharks. Sharks that found out how to explode on land. That's our mother. She is not really the best person to have a parent. Yeah, like right there. She's kind of passive resistant. She knows that we're going to sneak out because we're a teenager and we have two windows in our bedroom. If she stops us, there's nothing stopping us from crying, climbing out that window. That's okay. Ness is a good kid. He wouldn't climb out his window. Or would he? Because there was a loud noise, you dumb dog! Yes, you can talk to the animals in this game. It's, um... I don't know how. I'm gonna chalk it up as a wizard. And we're outside Onet! Everybody's running around. Everybody got woke up by this disaster. Is it a disaster? Looks like one of those disaster movies they made in the early 2000s. What? Who? Where? You're missing a few W's there, buddy. Yes, this is the only thing the Onet police are good for. They're going for the world record in roadblocks. They just do it for everything. Yeah, if you would read this billboard, they put up a roadblock. If you, uh, walk a few paces to the left, they put up a roadblock. Talk to this guy. Put up a roadblock. One time, I dropped a ham sandwich. Roadblock. I'm not going to talk to everybody in this game, but they all have something interesting to say. Some little joke or some little quirk. Like him. He's yelling at us. How about you put up another roadblock? I think you need another roadblock here. Now how about right here? Looks like they got one half done. Oh no, land sharks! I was right. It's a meteorite and sharks. And he's hungry. Oh, and it is a dangerous place to live. Is it now? Is it really? Or are you just a coward? I think he's a coward. It's the most cowardly police force in the world. They don't fight crime, they just roadblock everything. They try to quarantine it and cordon it off. Um, I'm gonna... Take a shot in the dark and say it's about maybe 9 30, 10 o'clock. Yeah, Ness, uh, Ness just got to sleep about an hour ago. He was getting ready for the weekend, and then this happened. 
This is our good buddy. He eats garlic and makes his body strong. I don't trust him a lot, though. There's just something about him that I don't understand. I think he's exa exaggerating and lying. He's some kind of exaggerating liar. Or maybe he's liar exaggerate. Eh, I think that'll do it. You see, if you name your kid Liar Exaggerate, people are going to think he's a liar all the time. Ooh, meteorites. They're made out of space metal. They came from space. Creepy. And, uh, here's the town nuisance right here. You see him in the suspenders? This is Pokey. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I'll get out of your way. Just stop... Just stop messing up your lines at me. Cut! Yeah, we're gonna have to do that line again. Yeah, I'll do something. I have a baseball bat. Ah, uh, sadly, we are forced to associate with each other, so I guess, yeah. Yeah. Hey, Pokey, stop what you're doing. Come on. These cops are trying to make roadblocks, and you're getting in the way. Yeah, officers, cops, it doesn't matter. They're police. I don't know where the cop came from anyway. Well, you, look at you. You're bugging them, too. Hypocrite. He's just a gosh darned hypocrite. Next time I meet him, I'm going to equip this baseball bat and show him what for. This is how you equip items in the game. See that? Now we're not using our bare hands. We got a bat. 13 years old and got a bat. This is, uh, this is a recipe for disaster. And there was a bread roll. Let's check out some of the other items we got. We got an ATM card from our dad we never met. It's an American Express card. We couldn't afford a visa. And that bread roll we just picked up. All the healing items are some kind of food product. The better the food product, the better the healing. Bread roll is pretty healthy, so we get a lot of HP from that. Actually, it'll be a full health at this point. As you can see, we got HP. We also got something called PP. And if uh, PP fills to 100, we have to use the bathroom. No. I'm joshing you. Uh, PP will come into effect later on, and you'll see it. It's, uh, it's, it's a major twist, and I don't want to show you it right away. We're just going to head back to our house and go back to bed. We can't do anything. Pokey's annoying the cops, and they got roadblocks set up. So, later that night, a few hours later, maybe 12, 1 o'clock in the morning... Oh, another dreadful noise. I bet that is a bear. It sounds like a bear. Yeah, that has to be a bear. I just want to stay in here. But, uh... Why is the rest of my family answering that door? Hey! Tracy, how about you answer the door? You get mauled by the bear. Maybe it's a land shark. Mom, you want to open the door for the land shark? Why do I gotta do everything? It's like I'm some kind of RPG protagonist with Bithead. King, you open the door. Go, fleas! Oh, it's just him again. Pokey. What do you want now? Oh, wow, he looks a little stressed out. Okay. Hey, uh, stick to the story. Stop flirting with my mother. I still got this baseball bat equipped. I slept with it. Uh-oh. The cops are gone. They had the roadblock somewhere else. They ran out of cars. Uh-oh. Picky's gone missing. He got eaten by land sharks. It's not land sharks at all. The sharks is actually a ruffian gang. I'm making you on again. Uh-oh. He's gonna get it. He lost Picky, his little brother. But I'm not gonna help you. This is your problem. This is your mess. Fine. I'm your friend for now. Because you're going to cut me if I say no. Alright. Let's blow this popsicle stand and... Let me get dressed. Seriously. You never know what's out there. Like I said, bears. Bees. Sharks. Outside is filled with bears, bees, and sharks. This is why I stay indoors anymore. But Ness is a natural-born fighter, so he should go for it. But he should go for it in normal clothing. He got his backpack. He got his red and blue cap as a signature of the series. 
almost every protagonist in uh, the Mother Earthbound games to wear this hat, except for the sequel. Um, what happened to go for it? Do your pills wear off? Our mother's on happy pills. Thanks, Tracy. You're cool. Oh, you're very cool. Thanks for the cookie. It's nice and moist, too. Mmm. Ah, uh, no. I think I got it handled. I got a bread roll, I got a bat, I got an ATM card. I'm good. Yeah, sure. Now, King will do stuff for us when he's in his party. He's kind of automated, though. He won't be able to control King at all. But, uh, let's just leave Pokey here. I said let's leave Pokey here. Fine. We're bringing Pokey along, too. He'll be automated as well. Hopefully he's worth his salt. Let's get out of here. Um, Mom, you want to get that? Come on, I'm trying to do an adventure here. You want to answer the phone? Don't ignore me! Ah, I gotta do everything. Hello. The Ness residence, because we don't have a last name. It's our dad. He's giving us sagely advice. We never get to meet our dad except through the phone line. He's always busy. He's some kind of important business man or something. I can do it! He's also our save point. We call up Dad if we want to save our game. Yes, we got an ATM card. He gave us our allowance this week. 30 bucks! He must be a successful businessman. And I love when Dad hangs up the phone. It always goes slam. Everything he says, slam. He just says it out loud. I'm gonna start doing that when I hang up on someone. Well, yeah, let's save right now. That's how much experience we need for the next level. And let's have him save. No, no sleeping. No sleep for you. You're running an important business. Tell Firebrand hi for me. I'm gonna just pretend that his dad works at Hell Incorporated as a salesperson. All right, welcome to the overworld proper. You can see enemies on the world map. Like that dog over there. Let's say hi, puppy. Oh, that puppy ain't nice. This is a battle. As all kinds of battles are in the old SNES RPGs, it's turn-based. And it goes by speed. There's other things because you can see the enemies on the map, you can like preempt them, or they could preempt you. And it's just trading blows and battles of attrition. Luckily, these enemies are kind of easy, because we only have a one-man team. As you can see, Porky is not ex Pokey? Porky? I'm calling him Porky now. That sounds like a good name. He doesn't do much. He's an absolute coward. King will sometimes attack, and so the en sometimes the enemies will just plain bail. We picked up a psychic power! Because of our level 2-ness. This is life up. It heals us. For, uh, how much? Can we actually check it? No. I can't check it. For some reason, I cannot. Let me try other things. Oh, there we go. It restores 100 hit, hit points to one person, which uh, is an S at this point. But I kind of wasted all my psychic powers trying to show that off. And here's a snake! It's the coil snake! The coil snake's a generic enemy. They could bite, they could also coil around you and paralyze you for one turn. But we could beat them with a bat and knock them senseless. Didn't get a lot of experience points off of him, though. That's kind of lame. Well, uh, a good way to restore our psychic points is to go back to Mom and have some greens! What? Well, Haha, <laughs> Pokey can't have greens. Oh, for me. None for you. You could die of the bends. I don't care. You're a coward anyway. You hide behind me and you try to apologize to animals. Here's another runaway dog. Here's another note, that uh, HP down there, you can see it's kind of built like an odometer. And if you get hit, it'll just roll down. There was an example of a wasted turn right there. The dog was just howling to itself. Yep, he did it again. The king did it too. Lots of turn wasting going on. But the odometer wasn't their first idea in Earthbound. They originally wanted to use pachinko balls and they would just fly off of your uh, character whenever they got hit. 
but when you have massive amounts of hit points, it means a lot of balls are going to be lost. Keep your mind out of the gutter. So they went with the odometer instead. Which is actually kind of interesting, because you could save yourself from death if the odometer is rolling down. I'm trying to despawn that dog, so I don't have to fight a third one in a row. Okay, fine. I'll fight the dog. PETA is going to have a field day. I'm beating dogs with baseball bats. How is that good? Right now, the battles are a little bit slow, because really, we only got... Sometimes King will hit, and uh, sometimes we might whiff, and makes it long and very arduous. And plus, Ness isn't exactly an offensive mind. He has a lot of good uh, physical power, and his status here, that guts, it'll increase his crit and his ability to not get, uh, not die from a mortal wound. And that's actually quite useful. But uh, Ness is more of a tank. Yeah, he has lots of hit points and he'll gain a lot of healing spells. He's like a team medic and a berserker all in one. And here's another enemy! Usually areas have about three or four unique enemies, and then some repeats. This is the Spiteful Crow. And Spiteful Crow, he has his generic attack, as all things do. He can also attempt to steal stuff off of us, so we want to get this... See? He took my bread roll! That stupid crow, he dies now. He dies forever! Alright, that's an example of whiffing. Did you see me? I completely missed. And King doesn't exactly hit too hard. It's a whiff bonanza! It's Casey at bat. Oh, Ness at bat. There we go. That could finish off that crow. That's what happens when you miss several times in a row. Crows always drop cookies, so, um... We traded a 30 hit point thing for, like, how many does cookie heal? Six. Well, that's excellent. We lost about 24 hit points worth of healing. Fantastic. I blame you, Pokey. Alright, I'm not gonna listen to anything Liar Exaggerate has to say. Because, um... He's gonna lie to us. You know what? There's one meteor, but there's like three craters. How did that happen? King, where are you going? You're gonna get back here. Only I understand what you say anyway. Worst dog ever. This must be Picky right here. He kind of looks like Pokey. You can't see his eyes. Yep, it's po Picky, all right. It's Pokey's little brother. By the way, the last name of the Pokey's family is the Minches. Pokey Minch and Picky Minch. Let's just go and get him back to their house. And Picky joins our team. Picky is the polar opposite of Pokey. He's super brave, while Pokey is super cowardly. Ah, uh, no. You're hearing things, Pokey. It's probably that cricket you hear. You know what, Pokey? I think this would be the worst time in the world to have some kind of contrived plot device that throws me into an adventure. Um... That looks like a contrived plot device that's gonna throw me into an adventure. It's a bee! Or not. It's a future bee. And in the future, all is devastation. Because Gigas, a bad alien guy, is doing bad things to good people. But we must listen to his story. He must be a descendant of Navi. Oh really? What is this legend? Let me guess, it's gonna be Ness. I'm gonna bet five dollars on every viewer this is gonna be Ness, and then I'll be rich, because I'm right. How did I know this? It's like I'm psychic. But, uh, no, I played this game before. Actually, it's not that hard to figure out. We're gonna have to counter the evil intentions with three virtues. Those are good virtues to have. Three boys and a girl. They have nothing to do with the people we just named. I know. They're faking you out. Or am I faking you out? You can't trust anything, I say. Um, yeah. Just mildly. I was just talking about the naming conventions and stuff. Yay, I'm exceptional. We have a bee. 
We've received uh, Buzz Buzz. I'm gonna call him Eric the Half a Bee because he's a uh, half bee and half future. I really hope not, Pokey. You are kind of useless. Yeah, you are not. You should have stayed at home and let me do all the work. Me and King were doing all the heavy lifting anyway. All right, now we got Buzz Buzz. All the enemies somehow vanished. That doesn't seem good. Yeah, I'm probably just imagining things. Pinky takes up the role of King, where he could actually attack enemies too. But uh, there's no enemies around that he could actually do it on. Actually, I just noticed something. Pokey, Pokey, Porky, whatever you want to call him, he looks a little weird. Look at him, he has his mouth open, he looks like he wants to swallow that bee. And he has that pig snout going, thing going on. Maybe he is Porky. And that would be an alien out of nowhere. Buzz Buzz, what did you do? Did you throw us into some kind of wacky sci-fi space adventure? No! We cannot be stomped! We just started the game! Actually, there's no possible way to lose against Starman Jr. Ness and Picky can't do a heck of a lot of damage. This is pretty much all Buzz Buzz's work. Yeah, the Starman Jr. has some psychic attacks instead of psychic healing. But, um, thanks to that psychic shield that Buzz Buzz just put up, he ain't gonna be able to touch us. Of course, Picky's trying to do some psychic powers of his own there, but it didn't work so well. Sci-Fi or B, we'll see that later on when we actually have psychic attacks. But it's a fire element. It's good against things like plants. As you can see, Psychic Shield absorbs Psychic Attacks. Which is good to know when we start using it ourselves and not relying on some kind of, uh, you know, Buzz Buzz is a crutch, to be honest with you. And he hits pretty darn hard for an early, early ally. He kind of reminds me of the robot near the end of the first Earthbound game, Earthbound Zero, or Mother. Um, there's a robot you get called Anna, and she just cleans house until you reach a certain point. She's great. You should try that game. It's kind of like this, but it doesn't have... it has random attacks, random battles. Which kind of gets frustrating after a while. Kind of like right here, where uh, this battle is taking way too long. There we go. Starman Jr. defeated by a bee. He was allergic. And we got another level! If you see Oh Baby, it means that uh, that stat has gone up tremendously. And look how much hit points we got. You could take like three whole new attacks of that. He was a future assassin sent by Gigas. And also the humans are being corrupted right now. And the animals are also becoming corrupted. That would explain the snakes and the crows trying to kill us. It is the truth. It is all the truth, all the time. Alright, next time on Earthbound, I'm going to stop in my house and heal up, and deliver to Minches, back to next door. Good night, folks.